Hey guys, and welcome to Monday? Yeah. It's technically Tuesday. It's technically Tuesday. It's another very late start to the vlog once again for many different reasons. It's mostly just that we have a lot of other stuff to do right now that we're taking care of. And another thing, well, I'll let Giselle talk about it in a minute. But we, it's kind of late right now. We just got back from, we'll try not to talk about this too much more, but it's going to be a part of our lives for a little bit longer because we're, we're still really into it. We'll probably grow out of it for a, in a little while, but for right now we're having a lot of fun with it. We went on a little, like, Pokemon Go date again tonight. And we, uh, we, like, we saw that something was outside and we, like, walked outside around our apartment building a little bit. And then we were like, let's hop in the car and go find some Pokestops. So we went and found some and... Ended up, like, ended up doing it for like an hour, so. There's like 15 of them together. I don't know if you can hear her, but there's like 15 of them. Right, so. Right next to each other, so we were just driving around like in a circle around all these different blocks. And yeah, it was fun. We just, we, it was just a fun little time to spend together. It was super late. It's super late, though. We need to go to bed. And somebody had sent up a lore on two of them right next yeah, to each I, other. Yeah, if you don't know anything about the Pokemon thing, like there's like little stops and people can put things on it, a lure to draw you in. To draw Pokemon in, and then people can stay there and catch extra Pokemon at these lure stops. And there were two right next to each other because some dude must live right next to it or something. And there's people. St the funniest thing to me is that there are people stopping at all these places along with us. Like even though it's super late. Oh, probably at least ten people are in cars. Yeah. Stopped and. And people walking on the street it. too. Yeah. Like we literally like saw people stop at the same places that we did on their phones doing Pokemon stuff with us, with us, which I think is really cool. Like, we could see it on their phones or, like, see their hand movements. We're like, we know what you're doing. Like, a lot of people probably don't get the Pokemon thing. I've probably heard people at my work talk about how they really don't get it. Like, they were talking about it at my work today because it's just been a huge thing people talk about recently. I've loved Pokemon since I was, like, five, though. Yeah. Since I knew what Pokemon I know, was. but I know a lot of people, even watching this, may not get it. But, like, people but it's, it's, up with it's it. really, it's, yeah. we grew up with it, so I really love it, and I... I've never even actually watched very much of the show. I grew up with the games. I mean, I, I, grew I, grew up, I grew up with all of it, so... Yeah. But I'm just saying that it's, like, a lot of people are really enjoying it. I think that's the best thing about it, is a lot of people are coming together and doing it together and having a lot of fun doing it together and stuff, so... Yeah. There's been some bad stuff coming from it too, but that's fine. I think it's mostly good. There's been some bad instances, but like that comes so, like with like where someone set up a lure and then at like two a.m. and people went to it and they got robbed or something like that. But then there's been a lot of people like making gatherings at, like during the daytime or like going out together and people have been like using this for exercise and as an excuse to go out and exercise and like have fun while it's encouraged people to go outside and play their little video game rather than sit inside on a couch and play it. Which I think is fun. And it's, he it's, did not it's, mean little in a derogatory way right then. No. <laughs> it's just nice to... Just nice that it's kind of taking, making people take that step to like actually go outside and do something physical. Yeah. And anyway. my first egg hatched... Chris's second age ha egg hatched. You can, some... you can get eggs and you should give an incubator and you have to walk for like a certain amount of steps in order yeah. to... Or go uh, travel a certain distance before they hatch, and so it's usually like two thousand, five thousand, or or. It's two kilometers, five kilometers, yeah, or ten that kilometers. One. That one. But it hatched into something very disappointing. But his, yeah, his hatched into a weedle for anyone who plays the game, and then my first egg hatched, and it hatched into a Magikarp. It? Magikarp. So. Yeah. I I was okay with the Magikarp because I had never caught one before, so I was like, yeah, yeah Magikarp. I think we've talked so. about Pokemon Go enough. We're, uh, we're sorry. We're going to get ready for bed really soon, but there are several things that are happening tomorrow. Uh, because of things that happened today, we'll, well, we can start at the first thing. Giselle is leaving for California on Wednesday. Oh, yeah. So my mom and I had been talking back and forth about me staying out for an extra few days to spend time with one of my sisters and then just to spend time with her. She, was, her she was originally going to stay until, like, Friday night and leave Friday night and then be here Saturday morning for me to go pick her up. Yeah, so leave... What, yeah, so I'd be only there for three days, leaving yeah. Wednesday morning and getting home, like, Friday night. It's, like, was, like, 6 a.m. or something Saturday morning. Yeah. And... Really, that only meant I was going to be in California for one day because I was flying into Nevada. Yeah. So I was I was flying in there, and I was only going to get to California at like five p.m. Mm -hmm. and be there until like Friday morning, like eight a.m. or earlier, and then drive back to Nevada to fly out. And so I was talking to my mom, and she's like, "Oh, you know what? We shouldn't spend the extra money right now." 
and then I don't know to extend it yeah to make it so I stayed out there for longer so we didn't and then today she called me and she's like you know what it's only a little bit of extra money let's just do it and so mm -hmm. we did today and I'm gonna be there till next Wednesday so, so she's gonna over. she's gonna be gone for me for a week which is like really sad because I'm gonna miss him and he's a cool whatever and we, yeah. he doesn't even have his computer so we can't even like Skype every night I mean I'm hoping my I mean, we can, my hard drive better come while you're gone we'll so I can able, work on stuff. We'll, I'm gonna be really, really lonely and we'll, really. Well, like, maybe you, hopefully you'll read a lot, but maybe we'll I'll, be yeah, able to like. I'll work on stuff here and read, and as soon as my hard drive. I want to say that we'll be able to Skype on our phones every night, so at least we'll be able to see. Each maybe. Other. And I also, mean, we'll, you'll be three hours behind. Pokemon. <laughs> we'll be. We'll be. That's our phone case. We'll be. We'll be. Three hours. Be, you'll be three hours behind me, so we'll see. Because I still have to go to work and stuff, but. We'll see what happens, but yeah, she'll be gone for me for a week. We just got married, and she's already leaving me. She's leaving me for a week. To go hang out with my mom and my sister. Yeah. That's okay. Um, like, I'm, I feel really torn. Like, I'm very sad, but... No, it's I'm, I'm, I'm very happy she gets to go spend... She'll get to spend extra time with her, with her parents and her sister and her sister's kids and get to spend extra time in California where she grew up. She'll get to have more time to take care of the things she needs to take care of at the house. Yeah. I think I'm going to go to Little India. Which That'll I'm be fun. Excited about, and we'll have to choose one more place. My mom mm. and I to go, so we'll we'll be able to do some really fun things and spend a lot of quality mm. bonding time. And also, I'll, it will give me more time to pack the suitcases and choose which books I want to bring out here. Yeah, which will be awesome. So yeah, she's bringing the two suitcases again. Hopefully, don't lose them this time. That but would be great. Yeah, and she needs to get our marriage certificate because we don't know how exactly that works. Because we need it to get her a new social security card, a new driver's license. We needed to get her on my benefits from work and all that stuff, so... Yeah, we got I lots think, of stuff. We got lots of stuff to take care of. I think we'll have time to do it, though, because I think I can just go in and ask for it or something. I'm not sure. Yeah. I need to double-check, because if I need to call it in a few days before, then I can even do that Wednesday or Thursday, and then yeah. go get it Monday or Tuesday, so... Yeah, and then, oh, well, yeah. speak, I, I kind of said that we we're doing stuff tomorrow. Do stuff happen today for things tomorrow, so... First thing, the very first thing in the morning, I need to call the dentist because one of my teeth broke. I think, I think what happened is an old filling popped out or something like that. I'm hoping that's what happened. I'm pretty sure this tooth got filled once and that it'll just be an easy fix and like got to be refilled or otherwise something, I don't know, I have dental insurance through work, but I do need to find a dentist anyway. I've been meaning to find a dentist and now I just extra... Too. Yeah, like I have to now. Because it's super sensitive. And like I can't great. drink water without it hurting now, so, which is bad. He was eating a chewy candy and yeah. it just ripped it right out. Yeah, it was really. I feel really bad because I love chewy candy. It's my favorite. Like caramels are my favorite ever. Yeah. And this is a very. Common she was eating this thing, thing this candy called bit of honey. It's got like a bee <sighs> on it, and it's the first time I ever tried it before, and I was like, Oh, this tastes good. Wait, this doesn't feel nice on my tooth. <laughs> yeah. I'm really, I'm kind of, uh, I'm trying not to think about it too hard, but, like, I'm, I hate not being able to drink water and, like, feel like I'm just gonna, like, be in pain if I try to do that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to call him the first thing in the morning and get a, an appointment as soon as possible to try to get it taken care of, so. Yeah, hopefully he'll be able to go in, mm -hmm. even Wednesday or Thursday, just take mm -hmm. an extra long lunch or something, mm -hmm. so, it'll... Hopefully, get worked out. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed. Everything should be settled by the time you guys actually see this, so. Oh, yeah. Probably. You'll probably I mean, it'll probably be all taken care of by the time you see this, but. I mean, it will for sure, but, like, hopefully there's no, like, lasting repercussions. Where I used to go in, like, 20 times and get 5 billion fillings or something. Don't even, don't <laughs> even say something like that. That's not going to happen. No. Anyway, so, also stuff, Giselle is doing a lot of stuff tomorrow. I got Pidgey. Pokemon Go break. <laughs> anyway, we'll stop talking about Pokemon now. We're sorry. So, also, Giselle tomorrow has some stuff she's doing. Oh, yeah, I do. I have a thing tomorrow. A job I, interview. Yes, that's the word. <laughs> job interview. I have a job interview, and I'm turning in a few more applications. Um, yeah, if, if you guys all don't ar really... All, ar all around our new apartment. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've talked to you guys about it a little bit before, but I've just been really had a lot of down days in the past year and um, I was really taking time to feel better for my in myself and not stress myself out and I'm feeling so much better and I feel a lot better and I know there's still some issues and problems that I need to keep working on but I'm feeling better and 
so I'm gonna start working again and so I'll probably yeah. be working at least 20 hours a week it's only part-time but I may get a two jobs I've done that before like worked on two part-time jobs before and yeah it'll I mean, make it difficult but at the same time like we could use the extra money right now so yeah we really really need the money so it'll it'll be good and it's all around close to our new apartment so it'll be very convenient it'll yeah be very good they're like Really Walk, short walking, walks. walking distance kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, and um, and I can come visit when I get off work. And stuff. Yeah, and I've already turned in an application to one of the places, and they haven't called me back yet. But if I do get that one, literally one of the places that I'll be working is like on the way to the other place. Yeah. And so it's like if I do have shifts really close to each other, I just like walk fifteen minutes back and forth. Yeah. Which would be quite simple. It would be very awesome. But. That's pretty much it for today. I mean, there's lots of ups. There's some ups and downs. Up being Giselle gets to go to California. Down being I like, just to be away from her for a week. Up being we drove around for two hours and count Pokemon. Down being that we now have to go to sleep and we have less time to sleep. And we're gonna be really tired. And we're both really tired already. And then another down. I broke my tooth. But enough. I have a job interview. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like I do get a little bit nervous with job interviews but not really because like every mm -hmm. interview I've had has just been like perfect and then they like called me like the next day or hired me on the spot so that'll happen again yeah like one of them they're like we'll get back to you in like four days and then they called me like later that day and they're like just kidding we want to hire you and I was <laughs> like sweet <laughs> yeah, this will be good well tomorrow will be a good day as long as I can get a dentist appointment as soon as possible I will be happy and I can't wait to hear about your day tomorrow and I'm sure she'll take you along with her Along with Pokemon Go. Yeah. I'm sure everything will be great tomorrow. Stay positive about the tooth. That's all I need to do. And you stay positive about your job interview. Mm -hmm. And about turning in more applications. Because there's several more places to apply to around there. It's a very, it's a nice new town that we're moving to. The so. interview is not till 3 though. So I have, I'm going to go with Chris to work. And then from there I'm probably just going to do stuff all day. Like out about, mm -hmm. like, I don't know if there's any point to driving back and forth. So Yeah. I anyway. may just get to go read in the car for four hours, which would be, would be nice. good, but not good, too. That's a lot of gas to waste. Maybe I'll go sit inside, like, a store, like a creep, yeah. and just be like, I'm going to read in here. <laughs> so, anyway, I think that's it for yeah. today, so yeah. we will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Wish us luck, both of us. <laughs> Bye, guys.